Hello everyone, welcome to the Student Investor Podcast with myself, Ivan Sambo. If you're watching from YouTube, please do not judge my beanie I am wearing right now. The only thing I have to say about this beanie on my head is that do not cheat on your barber. Stay loyal to your barber, even if your barber disappears for your month like mine has. Just stay loyal and pray they come back. Don't try a new barber. That's the only thing I have to say. So today's episode of the Student Investor Podcast, I am sharing my top four JSE listed shares that are currently my favorite. The one I'm looking into buying. Some of them, I already bought them, but all of them, they're under the price of 300 rand per share. All of them. So I'm talking about my top four favorite shares in the JC under 300 trend that you can invest into. But guys, do remember this doesn't constitute as financial advice, but only for educational purposes. I'm not saying go buy these shares because I talked about them. You must always do your own research and consult a registered financial professional before making any purchases if you don't know what you want to buy. So, don't waste any time. Let's get into this episode of the Student Investor Podcast with Ivan Sambo. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Student Investor Podcast with myself, Ivan Sambo. As the intro said, today we are talking about my top four favorite, favorite English, favorite JSE listed companies currently, guys, currently, that are under 300 rand per share. So, let's start off the list, guys, and talk about my number one share in the JSE currently. This may not be a favorite, not a favorite, but may not be a good reason why I like it because it goes against the morals and teaching of this channel, but I love it. Number one, guys, I have Home Choice International. Yes, I am talking about Home Choice. The one that always calls you like, yo, guys, we have a sale, blah, blah, blah. Take a, de- take a credit to buy uh, beddings, to buy a uh, pot, to buy whatever it is at our shop. I am talking about that Home Choice, guys. Home Choice is a well-known um, leading retail and financial service company in South Africa. One element I love about Home Choice the most is the financial element of it, the financial services they offer. Not the retail side. I love their financial service side. I know previously they have, they have had issues around the financial services product they offer, but for me, I... The way they operate their business is driven by giving people debt. Yes, debts, guys, you know, it's unethical, but it's business, right? And for me, the way they offer debt, the way they able to get people to sign up for credit is beautiful. It sustains the business. And for me, I see it as being a strong contender to grow. I see it performing very well. I see it generating more revenue. And when you look into the segment or the industry it's in, the retail space it's in, it's targeting mostly the middle class of women that are trying to start this new apartment or those who are in the lower class as well is targeting them and they're very good in the way they market themselves the schemes that they have inside not only just the home the home choice side when you talk about blanket talk about pillows talk about pods but also the tech the, the, the electrical side but now they have tech as well they offer cell phone contracts they offer laptop contracts now the, the way they integrated all of that together for me is beautiful and I love the company currently is one of my favorites and each share of home choice is going for 32 rand in the JSE per share and for the past six months alone they have seen a very well performing growth they have been up by plus minus 52.38 percent for the past six months alone so that's why home choice is my number one favorite company currently in the JSE sitting under 300 rand per share with their share selling in the JSE with only just 32 rand per Share. We go to number two, guys. We are staying within the retail space for number two. We are going for Truett. And the, the, the reason I have a Truett is the same reason I have for Home Choice. It's about the service, the financial service product they're offering. And not only just the, service, the financial service product they're offering, but the branding that is built in, right? The way they have just broken down true words brand to be just identity and the way they were able to separate identity to be now a standalone brand 
Like a lot of people previous used to know that identity is part of True Words. Nowadays, people see True Words and identity as two separate brands. And True Words working for different segments or different target markets. And identity working for different target markets. And I love that. Same with Uzu. Same with all the other integrated, even the jewelry section. Like guys, the jewelry section of the True Words brand is just doing wonders for me also as well the perfume segments of the true words brand is doing very well for me i like how they're targeting their audience and how each segment each group when i say segment so each part of the true words division each part of the business like for from uzi to identity to the the the, the, the true words are uh, uh, flagrant a uh, perfume section to the man true words man how all of them target their audience they target them so well i love them true words currently in the jse is selling its share one share for around 100 rand in the past six months have seen a growth of around um 33 percent and i just love them guys i love their financial service they offer i love how they divide their segment that different businesses i love how they target and market their products for me it's a beautiful business and i love it we go for number three guys Number three for me, it has to be the old dog itself. If it's not broken, don't fix it. If it is not broken, don't fix it. And that's my motto around my number three favorite uh, JC company right now, which is ShopRite. Guys, ShopRite currently is my favorite. I have no beef with it. I don't need, I don't think I need to, sell, to even explain ShopRite in detail, guys. ShopRite does what it does and it does it good. ShopRite sells clothes, women food. ShopRite sells food. ShopRite has checkers, has ShopRite, has YouSave, has all the other segments under it. It offers a product, it's right, it, it rewards problem. The reward problem ShopRite has is doing wonders. Not only just ShopRite sells, but checkers. The liquor stores are performing very well. They are put, they're putting pressure on peak and pay. They're making Woolworth. Checkers is making Woolworth seem like an amateur currently. For me, I'm like, if it's not, like I have no fun, I have no, I can't give you a deeper reason why I'm loving ShopRite besides the fact if it's not broken, don't fix it. And ShopRite is one of those shares in the JSE. While it's just, it does what it do. It does that. Like, you will never go wrong with ShopRite. So, currently ShopRite shares are going for 307 rand. It's just 7 rand more uh, uh, above 300 rand. And for the past 6 months, ShopRite have seen around 18% growth in their share price in the JSE. So, we go to the last one. My least favorite in the JSE currently, but in my top 4, basically, we are talking about Discovery Bank. And Discovery Bank, just today as I'm recording this episode, hit 1 million customers in the Discovery very bank clientele services that they're offering and at the same time they've integrated introducing home loans in the in the, in the banking division in the in the vitality program they're still they're still they're selling those points doing very well vitality no issue i love the vitality ceo is an amazing gen does well is controlling the discovery vitality program very well and a lot of people are signing up to discovery products because they want vitality point because they can go to to gym with 70% less um the medical aid system i have not had any issue around that i can't complain but for me i'm just loving i'm obsessed with the banking side of um of the, of, 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 of what we call this of um of discovery i'm obsessed with the banking division and how they work how they're able to perceive and see their growth and how they've been able to operate in the past few weeks so the reason i'm liking discovery current card is just the banking side Right, I want to be honest, is the banking side and also vitality. The product is looking, is the most practical, practical product in the market right now. It's the only product that sets discovery insurance, discovery medical aid, up, sets it aside from the other competitor it has. Like we look at other medical aid system, life insurance system, what makes discovery special is the vitality program. And know how all of its discovery program, all the products they offer discovery, all gel down into one beautiful thing. And a lab of integration. And that integration is winning over clients. And a client to see it in the share price, currently sitting at around 151 Ryan per share. That's discovery share. And for the past six months, they've seen around 11.42% growth. Beautiful. Beautiful. So those are my top four current best performance, not best performance, but 
companies I'm live in the chase in. I own two of the four. So in the comment section, guess which of the four do I currently own? I'm planning to buy all four of them by the end of this year. But guess in the comment section, which of the four are uh, two of them? Which two do I currently own? So those are guys my current fav um current uh, shares I like. And let me know, guys, what you think about it. And also, guys, do remember that nothing I say here constitutes as financial advice, but it's only for educational purposes. Until next time, guys, forgive me about the penny. Don't charge my penny. Be safe. And if you want to learn more about investing, please, guys, do ensure to watch all my other videos. Until next time, be safe, guys.